Tonight, you've got the campaign, the presidential campaign in full swing. President Biden finishing that star-studded fundraising swing through New York. Former President Trump, he's getting ready to make a trip to the battleground state of Wisconsin. Yes, the general election, a race Americans don't seem to want, at least a lot of them. An election putting the spotlight on so-called double haters, meaning they don't want to vote for either of the candidates of the major parties this year. You might have seen it when NBC News sent Shaq Brewster out to talk to folks about this. Watch. What do you think when you see these two options? Not great. Oh, boy. Can't say that I'm happy about either option. Oh, hell no. Why is it them two again? It happened four years ago. If somebody steps up to the plate other than these two, I would consider it. Okay, so what are the numbers to that? 56% of Americans do not want Mr. Trump to run again. 70% were against a second term for President Biden. All of it kind of given the impression that some voters would take literally anybody else. Turns out, literally anybody else is running. A man literally named literally anybody else. He's an Army vet and a Texas teacher who, you see it on his driver's license, he changed his name from Dustin Eby to literally anybody else. He joins us now. Thank you very much for being on the show. So talk us through where the idea to do this came from. So it was just came out of a sense of dissatisfaction from the last election when it was the first round of Trump and Biden. You know, it was, I went to the polls dissatisfied, you know, and I thought to myself, it would be so much better if we had a way to kind of reset the election, you know, to have a neither option, you know, or just to say literally anybody else. And um, when Biden's term uh, started going around, you know, last year I bought the domain to for kind of commercial purposes because I thought, hey, why not make some money if uh, other people are feeling the way I'm feeling, just sell mm. literally anybody else T-shirt, the coffee mug, the candle. And but as we got closer and closer and further and further down the election season, you know, I saw the opportunity and and the value of the name to kind of gather attention and, you know, and uh, just to kind of use that attention to kind of send the message, hey, like we we need to do better. Hmm. And so, well, so talk to me about that. We're showing your website right now and on it, right, on your platform, I suppose, you, you write mm -hmm. that literally anybody else isn't just a person, it's a rally cry. What are you trying to rally people towards? What is the message? So anybody who feels like wanting anybody else other than Trump and Biden, if that resonates with you, you know, that right there, it's brings people together under one thought, one idea. You know, everybody has this kind of sense of like, we don't want this, but our voices are separated. So this kind of brings the chorus together to sing the song and hopes of being heard. You know, if, you know, we're just kind of separated and spread out, you know, we, we can say our piece, but I feel like we're not represented. And that's kind of the core behind it. Like, I want this campaign to be about representation, to be about, you know, saying this is what we want. You should, you know, accommodate that as the government. You know, we're, we're a democracy, you know, we're by the people, of the people, for the people. And if almost 70 percent of your people are not represented, no matter who wins, that's not that's not democracy. That's not acceptable. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is supposed to be. Well, let me ask you this, um, and because I know that you are taking the steps to try to file, right, to get on some of these ballots, the ballot access is obviously critical for any presidential campaign, fundraising, et cetera. You've talked about your message here, and we're showing here the name of your committee, the committee to elect literally anybody else for president. And I ask this mm -hmm. respectfully, is this symbolic, your run for the presidency, or are you serious? Is it serious? It's kind of a mixture of both. So I feel like... Mm -hmm. Uh, for the for the most part, it is a symbolic run, but any kind of uh, symbolic action without, you know, following through, it just it it felt hollow to me. So mm -hmm. I will continue to take the steps to get on the ballot, you know, because and you know I'm amazed at just how much support that this is getting. Like I'm getting calls constantly, not just from you know media and the news, but from everyday citizens. I mean, while I was waiting to come in here, I had two calls from just everyday people saying how much that they love what I'm doing and that they want to help, they want to donate, they want to get out there and, you know, get the petition signatures, not just in Texas either. This morning I had someone in Hawaii saying he wanted to be the boots on the ground there. And so it, it's, it's 
practically impossible. It's for all intents and purposes impossible. But the more support we get, you know, there is an unseen tipping point where it could happen. And so I will keep striving um, toward that right there. And if it happens, it happens. But at the very least, the message is sent. And it sounds like the message you're aiming, right, the message that you're aiming at are, are the, what we call the double haters, right, the people who do not want to see Donald Trump, the people who do not want to see Joe Biden in the White House. But there are other mm -hmm. options, right? I mean, there's a bunch of campaigns up and running that are meant to offer voters other options, looking at specifically RFK Jr., right, who we know is running, who just picked the vice presidential candidate here. Why do you think that independent campaigns have not gained more steam? If there is such an appetite, as you say, for people who don't want either of the, uh, the sort of big party, main party options? Well, it's exactly what I said earlier. I mean, trying to uh, gather these um, estranged voices into one uh, candidate is quite difficult. Like, I could have never run under Dustin Eby. If I had run under Dustin Eby, I wouldn't be here, you know, in this interview right here. So, so you're saying, like, the else... stunt helps to get the attention, right? I mean, that seems to be the thesis for here. Yes, the gimmick got your attention. Watch me as I earn your vote. That's essentially what this is saying. Let me That's ask you this, when this is all over, as you say, the core of it is being able to choose who you want the most, not who you want the least. Um, at the core of it, if this is all, let's say this is December and you come back on the show and we're talking and you're not the president mm -hmm. of the United States, do you see a future in politics for you? Is it back to the classroom? Uh, this is not, I don't consider myself a politician. I have, you know, a lot of, you know, what I believe good ideas for sure, but you know, I don't, I don't enjoy the level of scrutiny that, you know, politics would bring. You know, if this, this message right here specifically is, you know, like, like my friends say, the juice is worth the squeeze. Mm -hmm. um, but to have that kind of constant scrutiny for the rest of my life is just not something that I feel like I would ask for. It's not something I feel like my wife would ask for either. Yeah. You know, if you're that high profile all the time, you know, you lose kind of connection with who you are before then. And, you know, I'm I'm still going to be Dustin Eby after November, no matter what. And I don't want to lose Will that. Will you change your name back? Oh, for sure. Win or lose. It's okay. This was a gimmick, and I don't want to live the rest of my life as a gimmick. This was all about getting attention, um, forwarding the idea, and resonating with people who shared that sentiment. Thank you so much for being on the show this afternoon, uh, this evening. Really appreciate your time. Thank, thank you very much, Haley. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.